What I was? Said, I went to high school. First time I went to high school in 1935. Uh-huh. You know, and uh, I walked from. I'm certain now that I walked from my house, my home on in Southeast Naval on the corner of Wharf Avenue and and, uh, and Merle Street uh, to Pearl High School at 17th Avenue and Joe Johnson in North Nashville. I, we had to walk. We walked as as the only high school in Nashville, Davidson County, in Nashville for black students, for Negro students. They had another high school in the in the Davidson County for Negro students called Haynes High School. You lived outside of Nashville, that's why you went to high school for Davidson County residency. You lived in Nashville, all Negro students, all Negro students went to Pearl High School. We walked past three white schools, mm. high schools, high schools for white kids to get to Pearl High School. We walked to Pearl High School in the spring, in the fall, and in the winter. And winters then are much rougher, much rougher than they are now, in my opinion, you know. I guess that because most of the time I was walking, I had holes in my shoes. Oh, man. The cardboard would wear out early. And when I walk, if the rain was coming down hard, mm. or if the snow was on the ground, the ice was on the ground. But we walked anyway. How far was this walk? Oh boy. From from where I lived, I guess it was about what? Eight or nine miles. I go back down there, the man said, I want you to write Negro news. Oh, you write progressive Negro news, showing how Negroes are doing well in the in the Negro community. See, they had been publishing a paper, a page in the paper called. There was a slip page. You take the page out when it goes to the white community. Happening is among colored people. Every, what, Wednesday, they run that page. And the colored people, the Negroes, knew that they were taking that page out. And they stopped taking the van and droves. So they're desperate to go hire Negro for full staff. Remember, that's what I thought they were hiring me for. They didn't make much difference. To them. But I went down there, man, went to, he said, okay. And he told me what he wanted me to do, but he didn't give me a desk. In the city room, in the newsroom. The first five years, I had to write my stuff at home, in the front room at home. I couldn't type. I didn't own a typewriter. I had a ch another church member, Mrs. Drake, who taught me English at Pearl High, lived on the street over. She had a typewriter. She let me have her typewriter, along with me, her typewriter. I would get up in the morning at 3 o'clock and print it out, my news, which I had thrown out all over the city that previous day, day and gathered, walking mostly, you know, and print it. And my sister would type it for me. After a while, I decided I'm going to buy me a typewriter. I bought a typewriter, a new portable tem Remington Rand typewriter, and I began picking my stuff up. I had to have it in the Moss's hands by 8 o'clock every morning to meet the first edition, which came out about what? 11 o'clock. They had three editions a day. West edition, which go out in the rural section, the home edition in Nashville, and the blue, a red line edition late in the evening, which carried the numbers. So, the first five years, I wrote my stuff at home by getting up in the morning, at three o'clock, early in the morning, say three o'clock. Then they had to have it in Moss's office by eight o'clock. Had to walk from my home to the 1100 Broadway, 
give it to him, not the city editor, give it to him. And he would give it to the city editor, I guess, after he read it. That, that went on for five years. I was covering the Negro community. I covered the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, I covered the YWCA, the YMCA, I covered Fisk, I covered Tennessee State, I covered up Mary Baptist Seminary, Seminary, I covered churches, all churches, all denominations, black. You know, we're big on Sunday churches, so I worked every day of the week. Then the uh, sit-in starts, student sit-in downtown. Tennessee State, first students, first students leaders in, in, the, in that movement. Uh, seminary, uh, I said Tennessee State, all of a sudden, they were going to sit in, police beating them up. White civilians beating them up, police shooting water on them, put them in jail, you know. Every day, desegregation, hated bus. Didn't want it in the newspaper. The banner sent me to that meeting me every night with a white reporter, a white photographer. None of it ever got in the paper. Not a word ever got a victim. I would get out down at 6 o'clock in the morning to make the first edition. Have so ready. Never got the paper. Nothing. Banner, Sauber didn't want nothing in the paper about this city and this stuff down here. But he was raising, but he was raising hell at Vanderbilt because James Lawson was training folks, the students of this, Tennessee State and Harry, how to conduct himself non-violently when these white folks beat him up. 